POV, I am a gay guy talking to someone's homophobic wife. Just saying, two guys shouldn't be doing that together. That's hurtful. No, no, I'm serious. Come on, my man. But you just said I shouldn't. Hey, sorry, man. There was a bunch of cows protesting the production of coins outside, so... <laughs> Sounds like utter nonsense. Were you there? Because that's like exactly what part of the human body is always losing. Defeat. <laughs> no. You know what I've lost? All my respect for people who hate on the gay community. If you're a gay guy dealing with someone being homophobic, I don't know if you need to hear this or not, but fuck them. Not, like, literally. This is what happens when a Black Lives Matter activist runs into a homeless person on the street. Change! Hopefully one day, brother. <gasps> Please, I'm dying! I'm dying for it too, I admire that pa- You know, they say you can laugh as loud as you want in Hawaii. But they prefer aloha. <laughs> no. You know what I don't find funny? All the hate towards the emo community. What you need to understand is that all the horrible things you say will hang with them forever. Well, until the real POV, I teach a class on how to deal with loneliness, but a French person tries to join. I just signed right there. I'm assuming you're alone. Ah, uh, we. Oui. We? Oui? You do realize this is a singles only class, right? Uh, we, oui, we. Oui. You want me to look at your we? We, no! Er, no, I, I'm just joking! I'm oh! just joking! <laughs> Seriously, show me. Because of the type of content that I make, a lot of people assume I don't have any black fans. But I do. <laughs> no! You know what I'm not a fan of? How often people with mental disabilities are made fun of. If you're one of the people making fun of them, it's about time you grow up and stop acting like a retard. Right this way! Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's just fabulous. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Yes, sir. Can I push your stool in for you? You know what? That would make my whole week. <laughs> yeah, that's like the whole point. There's not even a stool. Bad news, man. My doctor just told me that I have a really slow reaction time. Oh my god, really? Anyways, were you the one that Googled how to remove a toothbrush from your rectum on my- Yes. Was that you answering my first question? Yes. What are you saying yes to? I'm Brandon Collins, and I'm a mustard expert. There's no such thing as a mustard expert. It smells like mustard. Holy shit. may be cool, but that is a little cooler. <laughs> no. You know what isn't cool? Making fun of fat people. They've already got a lot on their plate. Which, I mean, surprise, surprise. Look, I'm sure whatever they're making is delicious, but it's grind time. Time to lose weight for summer. That means no candy, no chocolate. And, but sometimes it can actually be good to treat yourself. What's the worst part about being kidnapped by a mime? They'll do unspeakable things to you. <laughs> no. You know what does need to be talked about? Homophobia. Because as someone who knows several gay guys, I can tell you confidently that if you just hung out with one of them, they will make your whole week. Not, like, but how do you cook an exotic bear? A pan, duh. <laughs> no. You know what I can't bear? All the hate towards gay guys. If you're a gay guy and it's getting hard, just know that I'll be the first one in line to help take care of that for you. Not, like, penis wa- Why was the broom late for his meeting? Because he overswept. <laughs> no. You know what needs to be swept away? All the racism towards Muslims. If you just sat down and had a conversation with one of them, I think you'd realize real quick that they're actually the bomb. Or not... Like Somebody looks stressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just have no idea where to put these boxes. <laughs> well, why don't you come to my house? I mean, it'll be tight, but I'd love to pack in your crap. Wait, you're into that too? What? Er, you meant, like, my bo the boss. So I just found out what most people do when they go to a gay bar. <sighs> Come on, guys. Like, constantly. I mean, yeah, cutting cheese with a knife is great. But I'd say this is a little greater. <laughs> no. You know what really makes my cheese stanky? Pedophiles. They're just fucking immature assholes. Like... All the time. I like my women how I like my coffee. 
not bl cut off, but I said not bland. I mean, I like a girl with a good personality, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, a lot of people say you can't make cancer jokes. But I say you can, sir. <laughs> no. You know what makes me sick? How often people make fun of the mentally disabled. I mean, that's just what does water and dark humor have in common? Not everybody gets it. <laughs> no. You know what I don't get? All the hate towards fat people. It's about time I spoke up and said something, because if I didn't, it would eat me up. <sighs> Unless they got to me first. How I drink water. Mmm. How a woman drinks water. Mmm. I probably shouldn't be driving. Get when a sunrise bends over. The crack of dawn. <laughs> no. You know what we should be rising up against? All the hate towards anorexic people. They're already dealing with all the unrealistic expectations put all over social media, which I'm sure is difficult for them to digest. Well, I guess technically everything is.